Good morning, our student. Today we are going to explain sentence type in English and their rendering into Arabic. Uh, first of all, we have to know that we have four kind of English sentences in English. We have simple sentence, compound sentence, complex sentence, and compound complex sentences. So first of all, we you have to know the definition and what is this syntactic structure of each sentence. A simple sentence contains a subject and a verb. It expresses a single complete thought that can stand on its own. For example, the baby cried for food. Compound sentence, on other hand, it composes of two simple sentences, and both of these sentences are dependent, are independent, closes and joined by a conjunction. They can stand by itself, and usually compound sentences joined by the conjunction for and nor but, yet, and so. Each kind of these sentences express a complete thought. For example, they spoke to him in Spain, in Spanish, but he responded in English. So we have two simple sentences and joined by the conjunction but, and each single sentence express one complete thought. So we have a compound sentence. The third one, we have a complex sentence. It is an independent clause joined by one or more dependent clauses. So, in complex sentences, we have one simple sentence and two uh, compound sentences, one dependent and the other dependent. And usually, in compound sentence, in complex sentences, we have dependent clause and independent clause joined by a conjunction uh, or sometimes we call a sub subordinator uh, for example as because since after although when or relative pronoun for example after eating lunch at the cheese cake factory Tim went to the gym to exercise so we have compound sentences how can I know that it is uh, complex sentences we have the conjunction after now compound complex sentences it shares the features of the two sentences the two types it is compound and at the same time complex for example after the two Caesar player players lost their game they joined their other teammates for lunch and they went to the movies this is the most complex kind of sentences uh, especially as far as translation is concerned now the point is how can we translate English sentences if it is simple sentence if it is compound if it is complex both simple and compound sentences can be translated easily depending on the verb of the sentence once you have once you get the verb you can start with it and translate it since this sentence can stand by itself and can express a complete thought whereas the case is uh, the reverse in complex and compound complex sentences you have two parts two parts in this sentences main part and uh, subordinate part or we call it main clause and subordinate clause so you as translator must start with the main the dependent clause then you start with the independent or the subordinate clause when you want to translate it into the arabic now we will have an example for example i went to the beach this is a single a simple sentence because it contains one verb and express complete thought so once you want to translate it you have to deal with the verb and you have to pay attention to the verb whether it is in present past or past perfect so we can translate it as the habtul shatir or the habtul sahil uh, the second kind of sentence i went to the beach and i saw the sunset this this kind is a compound sentence 
it composed of two simple sentences joined by and and when you translate it you can start translate either the first part the main or the second each of them are correct for example the to the shamsi after I went to the beach I felt happy this is a, com a complex clause a complex sentence how can I know it is a complex because we have the conjunction after so I cannot start translating uh, the first part of the sentence I, can I must not start from translating after I went to the beach بعدما ذهبت للساحل شعرت بالفرح أو بالسعادة This is wrong translation You have to start with the main part or the main clause of the sentence So you will start with I felt happy شعرت بالسعادة بعد ذهابي للساحل And for this we will end our, our lecture Thank you very much for your listening